up guys welcome to a DIY talk show so, so for this episode of the show as you can see by the title I'm going to show you how you can make a fussy pom-pom and add it on the top of the beanie before starting I just want to tell you a secret about this DIY so I record the DIY portion of it I did it a year ago so yeah I'm very reckless about it so what so I thought it would be a really good idea to bring it in its anniversary because I mean it's been a year just sitting there it's waiting for it to be edited so the reason why I wanted to make this DIY instead of just simply buying one from a store is that you can actually control what colors you use the combination of the beanie and the fussy ball on the top and as well I just think it's easier and inexpensive or -er. is that a word Anyway, I think it's easier and, and less expensive to DIY rather than to buy it from a store. So my beanie was a total cost of $4 and the beanie was what cost $4. So the rest was kind of free because the fake fur I got it for my Cruella DeVille costume last year, this one. And the fluffing, let's just say I got it from somewhere else. So yeah, it's really easy and inexpensive as I keep saying in all of my DIYs but no one listens to me. So let's jump to the DIY. I'm just kidding. That was really bad. I'm sorry about that. For this DIY, you're going to need a Vini. I got mine from Walmart for $4, but I'm pretty sure you can find cheaper ones. I just wanted this one because of the phrase from Mean Girls. I mean, Mean Girls, come on. Everyone loves Mean Girls, right? If you don't, you're an alien. Which you can tell as why you don't like it. Because you're an alien. Fake fur. As I said, I got mine from a Halloween costume and the fur was a little bit expensive. But the piece I used for this DIY was really a small amount of fur. So what you can do, you can go to a fabric store and ask for a trim of fake fur. Or I know that Michael's carries A4 sheets of fake fur. And those ones are around 2 to $3. So you can check there as well. And you don't need a lot of fur for this project. So a needle and matching thread. A marking tool, which in my case is a ratchet as washable marker. I mean, it works. A round object to trace your circle. Just keep in mind that the circumference of the object, it's going to be half of it, I think, when you finish the project. So just try to find a circular object that is a little bit bigger than what you want your fussy ball to be at the end. And finally, you're going to need some fluff. You can get bags of fluff from the craft store, but that's actually really expensive. But I recommend you, you can steal some from a pillow. And if it doesn't have a zipper, it just murder one and one will know. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> So start off by taking a piece of your fake fur and your round object and place the round object on top of the fabric and with your marking tool, mark the circumference of the object on your fabric. Once you trace it, cut it with your scissors. Okay, cutting fake fur is a living hell because it gets everywhere. EVERYWHERE! But when I did this DIY, I didn't know a technique that I learned from Wit Wendy. And I'm gonna leave in the description a video that she shows you how to cut fake fur and makes it easier for you. Trust me. Now, Sam, to thread our needle. Just thread your needle like your mama show you. And if she didn't, well... Um... There's YouTube videos about it. So... You just check one. Or something. As I was saying, just double thread your needle so that the stitch will be strong. No, I'm not talking about that stitch, although he's so cute, right? Start off by inserting your needle on the wrong side of the fabric so that the knot will be hidden on the inside of the fabric and not show on the outside. Now we're going to sew all around your fur piece with a running stitch. No, again, not that stitch. But he's so cute, right? The running stitch is basically a stitch that goes in one centimeter of your fabric, then goes under one centimeter, then up one centimeter, and so on like this. I made this diagram to make it easier for you to understand it. However, I'm going to make sure to leave videos in the description, so it's going to be super clear for you how to sew this. So once the thread meets the knot, what we're going to do is we're going to start pulling the threads 
and the fabric is going to start gathering in the middle and kind of like closing up. Once it's almost closed, you're going to start adding the fluff that we got from the organs of the pillow, I mean from the craft store. Add as little or as much uh, fluff you want to make it really fluffy. I recommend it to make it really fluffy to make up for the murdering of a pillow. I mean, for the expensive it was from the craft store, right? Once you have it filled with the organs, I mean with the fluff, uh, you're going to pull completely the threads, but before it's completely closed, tuck the raw edges on the inside with your fingers so they will be hidden inside. To secure your fuzzy ball, you have to give it a few knots, so just give it a few knots, two to three, depending on how strong you want your knots to be. I recommend it three to four because, I mean, two to three, it's like, not a lot. Now take your beanie and insert the needle that you left attached to the ball. If you didn't do this, it's ruined. Ruined for good. Stop doing the DIY. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I really recommend it to leave the thread still attached to the ball. So we're going to take the beanie and insert the needle on top of the beanie. And then we're going to flip and we're going to work from the inside. Once the thread is on the inside, you're going to go with small stitches from the inside on the same spot several times. And this is going to secure the fuzzy ball on top of the beanie. The reason why it should go on the same spot is so that the thread, if it's a different color from the beanie, won't be visible on the outside. And this is also going to make it stay in the same place and not move around. And to finish off, you're going to give it three to four knots again to make it super secure on the beanie. And just like that, you have a super high beanie. Do the youngsters still say hype? Yeah, let's, let's just go with hype. And that's pretty much it, guys. As I said at the beginning, I made this Vini a year ago, and right now it's on my college dorm, so I cannot actually show it to you guys. But it's very easy and inexpensive to make. As I said, it only cost me $4, and I made mine in only 25 minutes or less. You actually have to try this. So that's it, guys. I hope you like it. I mean, I hope you do, because a pillow had to die for the sake of this video. In the As I was saying, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you like, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are, comment down below any days you may have for your future video. You can follow me on my social media that won't be listed down below. I mean, you don't have to, but, like, you should. I kill a freaking pillow for you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Yay! I finished! I don't know how long this video is, but, oh my god, it's... It was really short. I have to wake up really early because I really like this lighting because I don't have professional lighting. So that's that. Do you see how dedicated I am, guys? Where's the, where is his smile, though? It's not real blood. It's ketchup. Because I don't want to die myself with fake blood. I mean, that sh gets everywhere. Wow, I'm almost done. Mama, be proud of me.